Today, I'm going to use CRM analytics to run some analysis on stock data. Netflix has been in the news for the last couple of weeks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on Yahoo Finance, download last five years of data and perform some analysis and maybe even create a dashboard. If this sounds interesting, keep watching. All right, so here are the four things that we are going to do when we have access to the Netflix data. So the first thing that I want to understand is just the general trend of the stock price. Has it been trending up? Has it been trending down? So I want to create a simple chart, a timeline chart to understand what direction the stock price is trending in. The second is I want to look at day over day change in volume as well as in the price. Okay, so we'll use compare tables to calculate day over day change. Maybe we'll visualize that using a lens. The third thing that I want to do is I want to do some intraday calculations. There are a lot of traders out there who will invest when the market opens and then they'll sell their stocks when the market closes. So I want to hypothetically use that as my use case. I want to see if I were to invest in Netflix at the beginning of the day and if I were to sell it at the end of the day, uh, what would that chart look like? And then finally, I want to look at if there is any seasonality, right? So typically, uh, a lot of products will have seasonality. Uh, the, the best example could be ice cream, right? You would expect uh, the volume for ice cream to be higher during the summer seasons. Uh, I don't know if there is any seasonality for Netflix, but I want to see if there is any price fluctuations in the stock price for months. A uh, few examples that I can think of is maybe during December uh, when uh, a lot of people uh, are not going to office, they've taken off, they're spending time with their families, the kids are watching uh, shows on Netflix or the parents are watching uh, some shows on Netflix. Maybe uh, the families are watching a lot of movies during summer, which is why investors know uh, that the subscribers are going to go up. So they will want to invest in that stock. So let's see how we can create these uh, visualizations and we'll create a dashboard for Netflix. All right. All right. So in order to get data, the website that you can go to is finance.yahoo.com and when I go here, I can search for a symbol. So let's search Netflix. This is the symbol. Let's see. And when I go here, I see a tab called historical data. So I can click here. And then it gives me a historical data, right? So it right now it has data from 2021 to 2022. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use five years worth of data and then I'm going to download this. All right. So we've downloaded the Netflix data set from Yahoo Finance. But the first step to performing any kind of analysis in CRM analytics is to actually bring that data set in. So that's what I'm planning to do. So I hit create, click on data set. It's a CSV file, as you can see. So I'm going to click on CSV, just drag and drop this here, click on next. I'm fine with this data set name. Next, here you can preview the data. Uh, if I want, I can reduce the scale, but that's, that's fine. I, I don't care. And that's it. Click upload. All right. So this data set has been created. So I'm going to hit explore. And then let's see the first thing that I see on my deck is we want to do a simple time series analysis. We want to understand the trend of the stock. So let's go to charts. Click here. We want a timeline chart and we want some of let's do open and date. I have several options here. I'm going to select year, month and day. There you go. This is a beautiful chart, right? So I'm going to clip this. I'm going to call this Netflix time series chart. Let's put this here and we'll make a nice dashboard that almost looks like or has the Netflix color code. So you'll see that in this video as well. All right. The next thing that we wanted to do was the day over day change in volume and opening price. And again, we'll use the compare table to do that. Okay. 
So let's go back. I want to start from the scratch. So this is where we were. Now what I want is the day over day change in volume and the day over day change in opening price. So the very, very simple way of doing that is clicking here, clicking on compare table. I want to group this by date, year, month and day. Then I want, uh, let's say, I want sum of opening price and I want sum of sum of volume. Okay. So what this means is on 4 25 2017 the opening price for netflix was 147 and 40 uh, 46 cents uh, this was the volume uh, 20 million stocks were traded or were purchased that day uh, 426 the opening price was 151 53 okay now we want the day over day change so it can be done using clicks we can write code but we don't want to so we, i'm going to click on this plus sign click on add formula use this and do period over period okay now we have sum of open here and i want day over day so i'm going to hit apply and as you can see this has done sum of opening price day over day change right so 147 went to 151.53 so the day over day change is 2.76 percent the next day the price dropped to 150.6 and the day over day change was minus 0.61%. Uh, now as you can see the header, it has applied a formula which is what you're seeing here. It is very confusing. So I'm just going to say percentage change in open price. Okay, hit apply. Close. Now I want the exact same thing to be done for volume as well. So let's go here, add formula use period over period sum of volume apply and let's do percentage change in volume awesome all right now this looks great now let's say if i want this in a table this is great i can just simply Clip this and call this day over day change. Clip to designer should be here, right? So I will arrange this, but let's bring this here and you can see that information right here. Okay. What I can also do is I can go here and go to chart mode and this will put me in chart mode. I don't need this. I'm going to hide this. I'm going to hide this and let's say I want to see change in open price for the last three months or last one year. Okay. So I'm going to hide this as well. And let's go here. Let's say we want timeline chart and it looks like this. Okay. So I'm going to apply filter here. Date. See if we have that last. 90 days and there you go let's actually remove that i like this chart all right so this is great this is my change in uh price going back five years uh and i can again copy this so i'm going to clip this percentage price change let's just keep this like that clip to designer and as you can see you will see that here awesome all right now the next thing that we want to do is look at intraday calculation so if i was an investor and i wanted to invest in stock in the morning sell it during the end of the day how much money would i make and if i want that as part of table or even if we want to create a visualization like we just did you know how do we do that in crm analytics so let's see how we can do that okay just save this call it the netflix stock analysis that way we don't lose any information when i hit reload okay so we are at the beginning we have count of rows now intraday calculation let's use the power of compare table again compare table i want to group this by date 
year, month and day and I want the sum of opening price. I want the sum of the closing price. Now my return is 152.16 minus this particular value. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here, click on add formula and do B minus A and call this return value. Now what I may also want to see is return percentage, right? This is dollar, but I want to see percentage. So let's do add formula and I will do B minus A divided by A. And I want to display this in percentage, apply. So this would be my daily gain. So I gain, you know, I would have gained 3.19% 3, 3 on 425. Next day I would have lost 0.9% and so on. Okay. All right. So let me hit close. Actually, let's save this lens. Let's call it daily return. Save. Okay. All right. Finally, uh, what we wanted was price fluctuations by month. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, let's go back to analyzing that lens. So that is Netflix one. And again, this is very simple. I'm just going to go here, click on line chart. Okay. Uh, my X axis is going to be dates year, month and day. My Y axis is going to be sum of opening price. Actually, I don't want year, month and day. I just want year and month or maybe not even year and month. I only want month, right? Because we're trying to see fluctuations by month. So, uh, this is my month of January, month of February looks like the, the price always goes up in the month of March comes, starts coming down, uh, hits another peak, maybe around the time frame of July and, uh, around October is when the stock price goes up as well. Okay. I'm going to save this and call it month fluctuations. All right, so this is the dashboard that we had started off with. Here's a trend analysis, here's a table and so on. So I'm just going to delete it for now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start creating a dashboard called Netflix, Ana Netflix analysis, and I'm going to start applying some Netflix palettes. The way to do that is you can just go online, uh, go to this website called colorhex.com. And here I found some Netflix palettes. So it tells me what is the hexadecimal code or RGB code for Netflix. So I'm going to use that and try to create a dashboard that looks, that has the color theme of Netflix. Okay. Awesome. All right. So the first thing that I need is a beautiful text box. So let's drag it here and make it slightly bigger. Okay. Now what I need to do is type in Netflix. Um, let's make it 64. Center it. Awesome. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to give this the hexadecimal code or the RGB code from that website. So It is DB0000. Beautiful. This now looks like Netflix. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I am going to go to widget style and I'm going to give it the same background color from here, which is, let's see, 
this okay so copy paste background color custom it is 86 77 77 okay so let's go here change this 86 77 77 choose all right maybe we'll just keep it white i think that looks better um this looks better okay now we can start adding few things here but before we do that i'm gonna actually go here and say my background color is white colors are white let's preview this beautiful looks like a nice netflix dashboard click on edit all right now let's start adding few things here okay so the first thing that i need is this chart here okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go here go to conditional formatting and i'm going to select measures now you see how the sum of open is in blue i want this in the netflix color so go here click on custom and that is 21900 okay 219,0,0 all right so this is now in the netflix color awesome As always, thank you for watching this video. Please hit subscribe and I'll see you next week.